Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition! In the last episode, we were going around Skyhold and talking with all of our companions, and we learned that apparently Colin has asked to meet Cassandra in the smithy. Oh dear, game? Game, is you okay? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, that was a stutter and a half. And um, yes, Colin is meeting with Cassandra in the smithy. We're going to ignore the fact that we can see Cassandra over there. We're going to ignore that for right now. You asked for my opinion and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium. You were to watch him? He was determined. I think it's brave. Um, I'm drawn to this one. I think Einor does think it's incredibly brave of Colin. You know, Lyrium withdrawal, it can potentially kill someone. You know, there's a chance he may not survive this, yet he wants to do it anyway. That is incredibly brave. And I think Einor respects him a lot for that. Yes, and I respect his decision. As do I. Not that he's willing to listen. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Hmm. Why didn't he tell me? Ooh. Here's the thing. I, I kind of read that in a very... I'm the Inquisitor, his boss. Why didn't he tell me? I'd... Cullen is Einor's friend. I do think she considers him a very good friend. She respects him a lot. And I think she feels rather touched that he opened up to her about his Lyrium addiction and told her that he was no longer taking it. However, he didn't have to do that. That was Cullen's decision. Cullen doesn't have to tell Einor anything. You know, I think Aino would like it if Colin felt comfortable coming to her and saying, hey, I'm having a really tough time. Can I lean on you a bit? Can I vent to you? Um, I Aino would feel very happy if Colin felt comfortable doing that. However, I don't think she's the type of person who would try and push that, who would like, oh, he didn't come to me in his time of need. I'm offended. Why didn't he tell me? Like, he doesn't have to tell her jack shit. I, yeah, I, d I don't like that. I don't like that for Einor. Um, can we change his mind? Who do I listen to here? Shouldn't he decide? Oh, I kind of like all three of these. Because on one hand, I think Einor believes that if, if Colin is struggling and he thinks, you know, he's reached a point where he's like, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I can't lead the Inquisition's troops and deal with Lyrian withdrawal. I can't do both at the same time. I need to drop one and I can't drop the, the Lyrian withdrawal. I can't just start taking Lyrium again. So it's it's got to be the Inquisition. I need to nope out of this. I think Ionor would respect his decision. You know, if you're finding it tough then there is no shame in taking a step back. At the same time, Cassandra is saying it's it's not necessary. He can do both. You know, help, maybe this is part of withdrawals. You know, second guessing. Let's try that again. I'm overheating again. I'm always overheating. What can I say? Um, uh, you know, second guessing oneself paranoia, anxiety, those could all be symptoms of withdrawal. And he's actually coping just fine. 
And let, let's say we do replace him. We replace him today. And then tomorrow he wakes up and thinks, what the fuck have I done? Oh God, I'm an idiot. Like I, I am coping. I'm coping just fine. And now I've lost my job. Oh shit. Like that probably would destroy him. That probably would. I... Cassandra is a seeker. She spent her entire career watching Templars. If anyone would know, you know, what what is a withdrawal symptom and what is actually like, oh no, he's not coping very well. Like he, he's, he's right there. It would be Cassandra. Cassandra would be the one person that Ionor would trust to tell the two apart. But at the same time, it, it should be Cullen's decision. If... <sighs> I, th I think two is a pretty decent middle ground. Cassandra is knowledgeable on this, but I don't think Ionor would want to strong arm Cullen into doing something that he wasn't comfortable with. So, yeah, I, I think the middle ground here. Cassandra, did you refuse Cullen's request because he's wrong or because you want him to be wrong? Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. She didn't actually answer the question. I think Einor would have noted that. Like, you know what, let's let's head straight to Colin. He's suffering, he's in pain, and I think I think Aino wants to see how he's doing for herself. Hey buddy. Hello. Okay, no, it's the next room. Whoops. Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. Talk to me. At least you missed. I want an explanation. No, 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 buddy. Buddy, it, it's all good. Cullen, if you need to talk... You don't have to... I never meant for this to interfere. Are you okay? I know that. So now I, I, I think she'd just be concerned for him. Are you going to be all right? Yes. I don't know. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander, and for what? Hmm? Her fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? I understand. You have bad timing. You're taking too many risks. Um, yeah, that, that is perfectly understandable. I don't... And now is not the time for jokes. He's opening up. He is being very raw. Like, let's not joke about that. No, that is... That is understandable. Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better, that I would regain some control over my life, but these thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? 
I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. I should be taking it. Hmm. That would be best. Colin will start taking Lyrium again. Good, just do your job. Lyrium will start taking Lyrium again. Did I say Lyrium will start taking Lyrium again? Whoops. Colin will start taking Lyrium again. No Lyrium, that's an order. Colin will not take Lyrium. You don't need Lyrium. He'll not take Lyrium. I care about what you want. This shouldn't be up to Ironor. Ironor is not the one living with this addiction. It's Colin. It shouldn't matter what she wants. The question is, what does Colin want? This doesn't have to be about the Inquisition. Is this what you want? <sighs> no. But these memories have always haunted me. If they become worse, if I, if I cannot endure this, don't risk it, take Lyrium, don't give up. He he just said he he doesn't want to be taking it. You know, now is the time we back him up. You can. <sighs> All right. Oh buddy. Buddy, oh, I just... <sighs> She'd want to give him a hug, but Colin doesn't strike me as the hugging sort. I need a moment. Could we speak another time? The thing, the palace, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess you're not going to talk about the, uh, the... The Winter Palace, the Grand Ball. My... My brain, it, I just keep drawing blanks today. I don't know why. My apologies. Now then, let's see. Cole? My boy! Well, let me know if you find one. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. Hmm. It's the game. Did you like the masks? I agree. Oh, it... <laughs> We're not gonna justify the game. Screw that. Yeah, I just... Things would have been so much easier if everyone had just been honest. That would have made everything much simpler. The colours were pretty, though. Aww. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Anything else? She's still behind the curtains in the reading room, watching the blood pool on the floor. Briala. That's Briala. She was there when her parents were killed, hiding behind the curtains. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? You know what? Once more for posterity. I'm glad you came to talk to me. I love you so much. You are my adopted son. I'll talk to you later. Probably. I love you so much, Cole. I love you so much, and now I have to go talk to a character that I don't particularly love. No, they don't. I just want to. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Corinthus. Right in the dangle bag. Hmm. What's wrong? Remind me not to get you mad. You think they're the same. Yeah, what's what's going on, Sarah? Alright, you're clearly annoyed. What can I do? You're doing fine. It's the dead piled up in Halam Sherelle that's nagging at me. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. We made important decisions. Earwigs, that had stoppable. That wouldn't have helped. I... This is one of those times where Ainor's like, you know what, that would have been good. It wouldn't have helped anything, but it'd have meant I didn't have to be there. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, hmm. I'm drawn to this. 
Of all things, I'm drawn to number two because... How do I put this? Here's the thing. We did make important decisions. But quite frankly, it wasn't Eleanor's place to be making those important decisions. She's not Orlesian. She basically decided the fate of a country that she does not live in, doesn't visit regularly. Like, you know, once, once she's done with the Inquisition, she'll probably never set foot in Orlay again. You know, it's, it's just... I don't think she'd be proud of the fact that she, you know, basically sorted out what was going on with the Empress. Like, she can be happy that she, you know, reconciled Briala and Celine. She can be happy that, like, oh, those two lovers are back together because I don't know their past and therefore, you know, ignorance is bliss. Um, she can be happy about that, but I don't think she is remotely proud of any of the decisions she made there, because it wasn't her place. And here's the th that wouldn't have helped. That... I Ionor is aggravated about what went on at the Winter Palace. She has no reason to direct that aggravation towards Sarah, though. And like I said, this... Again, this strikes me as like a, that wouldn't have helped. You know, I'm totally into politics and like doing diplomacy and shit and just, you know, slamming the doors won't fix anything. Like I, like I said, she, she would have happily not attended. She would have very happily not gone. So I think, yeah, I'm, I'm drawn to this. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. We patched their spat, Briala and the Selene, but without their breakup, none of it would have happened like that. Hmm. It's not that simple. The empress was right. Their mistakes made it worse. Um... Hmm. Everyone was acting shitty in that situation. Because everyone was playing the game, everyone was lying and manipulating and blackmailing. Like I said, by the I, I said this during the quest, you know, by the end of it, Ionor was kind of like the three of you deserve each other. I don't particularly like any of you. I want Briala to succeed. And I'm happy you're a couple again. But I don't necessarily like you people. That is actually true. That was the reason why Ionor hooked them back up. So that Celine would have support. So that she'd have that elven spy network and therefore she'd be stronger if they hadn't have broken up she would have had that spy network she probably could have gotten rid of Gaspard months maybe even years ago so yeah I, I think Einor actually could agree with Sarah here it it took attending an awful party but finally Einor and Sarah have common ground um yeah, they, they did make mistakes, and those mistakes did make everything worse. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. Mm. Yeah, anything else? Also, let me just... Aha, Sarah's Cabinet of Wonder, whose it was. Her mask, big head. His mask, tight face. Delance set corset lacing. Snip boing floppity. A doodle of a ghouly eyed face with a peculiar muster. That's not a face. This updates every so often, and I, I do like that. We all sit and wait him. Great, yeah? Okay. 
still nothing else here. Tell me about yourself. What about me? And again, no, we're not going to go with that. We'll talk later. If you say so. Okay, but... Something on? Yeah, she doesn't seem hostile towards us, so that's, that's decent. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Okay. See you around, Sarah. And anything? Inquisitor. Hello there. And don't don't worry, rat. Don't. What the fuck? I. J I'm I'm not gonna lie. When I when I caught sight of that, just with the motion he's making, I. I thought he was jerking off in the corner. No, he's just ramming his body into the wall. Okay, I, d I don't know which is worse. Let's just ignore it. Just ignore it, Cram. Shame the alliance with the Chief's people didn't work out. He hasn't said anything, but he's feeling it. Oh, buddy. I, I love you, mate. Don't go upstairs, though. Don't go upstairs. There's weird shit happening. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? A few Orlesian nobles didn't like how things ended at the Winter Palace. They're not rebelling outright, but they brought in mercenary companies in preparation. The Chargers have a good reputation. If we go in, we can buy the companies out from underneath them. The nobles will lose the men they met for causing trouble, and the Inquisition gets some fresh blood. Okay, nice. Can we talk about the Bull's Chargers? Certainly. What can I tell you? Tell me of an interesting job. Have you had any other interesting jobs? We had these villagers pay us with rice one time. <laughs> Should have seen the chief's face. Him and me and five guys defending the town from 50 bandits, and they pay us in bags of rice. Chief always took money up front after that. He also learned how to make this rice pudding dessert. It looks awful, but it's pretty good. Oh, nice. We'll talk later. Oh, I, I still love you, Krem. You're still one of my favorites. Ooh. You wanted to see me? Bull! I got it! He bossed the Sala Talvasov. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ugh. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. I, th I think I and all would just be standing there like, what the fuck? What? We're being invaded by Kunari spies. Oh my god. Oh, you were expecting this? You knew the assassins were coming? Little change in the god rotation tipped me off. And you didn't warn us? Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you were the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. I'm fair. He's got a point. House. Uh, I, I, we can't be mad at him for that logic. We really can't. How's the wound doing? Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. But they, they could have used poison. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek, liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Hmm. Should we retaliate? They didn't have to do this. Ooh. At... <laughs> Should we retaliate against all of the Kunari? Like, how? How would we even go about doing this? Um, I wish there was another option. I don't particularly like either of these because I know I know wouldn't think about retaliating. Like I like I literally just said, who would we retaliate against? Like, uh, would we send spies to Saharon and start murdering people there? No, that's. No, just no. Um, they didn't have to do this, but he was a spy. 
he has information that they probably don't want him revealing. Like, it makes sense that they would try to kill him. So I don't... I don't really like either of these, but she'd never suggest retaliation, so I guess I have to go with this. I hoped the Bernhathrath would let you go. They did. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. Hmm. Will you make it through this? Report this attack, please. You're still you. Yeah, it... It doesn't matter that you're Talvashoth. You're the iron fucking bull. You acted like a Talvashoth for years. That didn't change you. Neither does this. That was just a role. This is my life. As one of those. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turned their back on the cube. And now I'm one of them. No. No, you are the Iron Bull, mate. You're not a Talvashoth. That's a Kunari word, and you don't follow the Kun any longer. You're Iron Bull. Mercenary captain for the Inquisition. I can live with that. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. <laughs> Ironor has been using a lot of the, uh, a lot of the flirty options this time around. I think this episode, Ironor has flirted more than she has ever flirted in this whole game, but... Those are the options I think Ainul would use. You know, Cullen's, Cullen's drug addiction isn't... It, it's not Ainul's life. She shouldn't be... You know, she shouldn't be saying like, Oh, hey, let me tell you what to do. It's more important to ask him what he wants. You know what, let's... Oh, shit. I was going to backtrack there because I, I figured it would be quicker to get back to the pub the other way. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's fine. I'm so glad we don't take full damage in Skyhold. That really is a blessing. Um, but yeah, she'd... To know the sanctity of our great institutions is intact. Say what now? <clears throat> the Empress. She holds the throne, as she should. And buoyed with that glory go my petitions. Right, right, your seventh cousin. Third, my glory is assured. Nice knowing you. Sort of. Beautiful. Lovely. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, with with Colin's lyrium addiction, it doesn't matter what Ionor wants. It's, you know, what is important is what Colin wants. And, you know, right then, Bully's complaining like, oh, I'm Talvashoth, I can't believe I'm Talvashoth. And it's like, no. You're not. You're the Iron Bull. And that supersedes any title. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Kune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Hmm. We need politics, though, and mitigating factors. I No, it, it was a shit show. It was a hot mess. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. Oh, so bad. So bad. Pleasure as always, boss. Hey, nice. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Okay, good stuff. Lovely jubbly. Krem is stood on his chair again. Good for you, Krem. You do Space you. Needs more distance. Battle can move in an instant. Okay. Okay, so. Alrighty then, in the next episode we'll go have a chat with Cassandra, however I am going to bring today's episode to a close right here. So, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.